No aspect of compensation has been as controversial or received as much attention in recent years as executive compensation. It's almost impossible to pick up a newspaper or electronic mobile device of choice without seeing an article about problems with executive compensation or about unethical practices executives have participated in to enhance their own personal wealth. Let's take a look at the topic of executive compensation. Greater attention from shareholders and new and proposed legislation have led companies to reconsider how they provide executive compensation. Generally, a large portion of the pay mix for executives is being tied to the performance of their firms. In fact, a 2006 survey of over 350 firms found that over 80% of CEOs' compensation was at risk or dependent on their firms meeting either their short- or long-term goals. A recent review put that figure at 60 to 80% in 2016. In 2013, a study of CEO pay revealed that the vast majority of CEO pay is significantly bolstered by bonuses and stock options. Executive compensation includes the same components as other compensation packages, base salary, short and long-term incentives, and benefits and services. Short-term incentives often include rewards based on financial measures of company performance. Long-term incentives such as stock options are used to encourage executives to try to improve their company's performance for a long period of time. This is done by aligning their pay with the long-term success of the organization. Executive compensation differs in the magnitude and mix of these components as well as the prerequisites not offered to other employees. The prerequisites or prereqs can include the use of a company plane, a car and driver, country club memberships, and even bodyguards. A CEO's pay is typically established by a compensation committee made up of members of the firm's board of directors who are often high-ranking executives from other companies. A major concern about the use of compensation committees to establish executive pay is the extent to which they can be unbiased. The members of the committee understand very well how the labor market works in terms of wages. As CEOs or vice presidents themselves, they know that market pay rates can be influenced by one company paying higher wages. Thus, these people have an incentive to provide greater rewards to the CEO of the company whose board they sit on. In other words, what goes around comes around. They know that higher wages they award will eventually pay off for themselves. It's worth mentioning that a number of CEOs are very aware of this controversial nature of their pay relative to their workers and have made adjustments to their pay in response. In fact, a number of high-profile CEOs have sacrificed their salaries in favor of performance-based pay.